Okay, so let's add the component library. We will add, um, you can add the PCB library, schematic library. Actually, I'm just gonna start adding components to the to the online library, server library, right? Okay, and if you're not using Altium already, then yeah, you can try it out for free. The link is in the description below. Make sure you use that link below so you can get a special free trial and or if you want to buy Altium at a 25% discount right now, then click on the link below. So you can import a library, use existing components. I'm going to go to my panels, manufacturer part search. And this is quite frankly, just the simplest, easiest way to get your parts and start building your library. And by the way, speaking of parts, right? You want to start using Octopart if you're not using it already to look for your passive components, tools and supplies, test equipment, all your semiconductors. It has a lot of information. If you don't want to be confined into just a single environment, you want to be able to use the web to do part component investigation, look at CAD models, see what options are out there, add it to an online bill of materials, look at data sheets and all that stuff. So doing component library and level research uh, as a hardware engineer is, you know, that's a given, right? Okay, when you're doing all this yourself, then this is what's necessary. So definitely recommend Octopart. This is what I use to keep track of my uh, projects before I actually start building them in my uh, software. So I'll get my manufacturer part number, look for that. It gets it, pulls it from Samsung. And what you wanna do is, you know, if you have components like from Farnell, what you do is you'd um, you can save to your workspace or don't or download as a file library. I'm going to save this to my workspace. Okay. This is great. Then add this to my capacitors. Click okay. In adding this to your capacitors for your workspace, this is using the Altium 365 environment. Hmm. It will update some things like ceramic capacitor for the description, capacitance, and a capacitor type. For my symbols, uh, this is why I love using the workspace because I can replace it with specific symbols that I want for my own library. Negative tolerance, mm, package shape. Well, I can add things like width and height and so on and so forth. So I can add that. And notice how when I check mark it, it automatically has it there, right? So the, what I like about Altium 365 is it allows you to standardize your process. Okay, and then you have package shape, packaging. Uh, if I want my negative tolerance, you know, that could be, that could be useful information. Rated DC voltage is important. So it's rated for 10 volts. This means that quite frankly, depending on the data sheet, it could go down to five volts when connected to DC. And you have width. Another feature that we have is height. I added that already. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna go ahead and click okay. And let me show you how easy this is, this is to add to your 365 platform, platform or environment, right? So I've added it apart from manufacturer part search. It has the description, it has the name. I can change the name to whatever I like. Right. And then at this point, you would use some kind of naming process. So for instance, I go with cap ceramic 1000 picofarad, so on and so forth. And then I would put that in there for the name. Okay to make it easy to look for. It's totally up to you, whatever you need for your uh, company process. And then your ID, you know, your company, you could use from multiple templates just to make the process easy and seamless for adding components to your, to your design. I can also add footprints and new sim and simulations, but don't worry about that now. I can add simulation later. Okay, a lot of stuff for this Altium 365. I'm gonna go ahead, right click and save Cap Ceramic and then see how this option pulls up on the left here. You wanna save that to server. 
This gets added to your library in the cloud. New capacitor added. Perfect for, um, you know, 10 volt, high speed, whatever, depending on whatever requirements you need, the, the reasons why you added this, right? And the name and click OK. So this is the process you want to use to add components to your environment. This makes it so easy. I don't have to download components, um, make the components from scratch. Of course, if you want to be able to make do component creation from scratch, that's fine. And once you do that, even when you do do that, you can still add it to your library. So if I go into components here, right? Let me move my messages to the side. If I go into components, see how easy this is. Once I search for my that, boom, I don't have local library files to worry about. I can just go ahead, double click it and add it in there to my schematic. And if I look at my properties for this by double clicking, double clicking on it, it's visible. It's easy. You know, I have multiple part numbers, manufacturers I can pull from. Boom. Okay. Super easy, super simple. And uh, that's how you'd add your component to your design and Altium 365 environment. Make your life easier and use Altium 365.